Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the string compression problem, lead code 443. Given an array of characters charts, compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string S for each group of consecutive repeating characters in charts. If the group's length is 1, just append the character to S. Otherwise, append the character followed by the group's length. The compressed string S should not be returned separately, but instead be stored in the input character array charts. Note that group lengths that are 10 or longer will be split into multiple characters in charts. After you are done modifying the input array, return the new length of the array. You must write an algorithm that uses only constant extra space. Right, so how do we approach this problem? Uh, let's go to the drawing. Uh, right, so we have here the two examples. Uh, a, A, B, B, C, 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 uh, A, 2, B, 2, C, 3, that's the result, and the actually what we have want to return is the number 6, we are interested in the length of this new array that's encoded, compressed. Um, so A appears twice, B appears twice, and C appears three times, that's the correct uh, compression. And for the second example, it does have charts of A, and the correct compression is just the regular character A because it only appears once, so we do not add a digit in that case, and the length is going to be one. So first of all, we need a length variable, right? So we want to return the length, and we initialize this to zero. And then we need to iterate through the array, so we need an index i. zero and then we want to compare duplicates right so we have a a b b c c c so in order to do that we're going to use a second index j and this is going to start at i plus one and uh, we're going to compare if they are equal so if charge of i equals with char equal charge of j then j plus plus so in this case we have zero and one so they are equal, so j becomes 2. So j becomes 2. And then j of 2 is b, which means that they are no longer equal. So we exit the loop, and then we say, OK, I want to add my character to the length array. So the length becomes 1 and I've added character A, and the length becomes 1, okay, and then we compute the difference, the diff J minus I, and th this is going to be 2 minus 0, in this case is going to be 2. And this is the digit that we want to add to our result. So we increment length and we add 2 to our final result. So we add 2 as the length. OK, so we finished with the A's and now we increment I, but we do not increment it by 1 because we want to continue from where we left off with J. So we set I equals to J i equals to j. So in this case, it means that i is going to be 2. Right? And j is going to be 3. So then we compare 2 and 3, and b and b, they are equal, so we set j to 4. We set j to 4, and then c and b are no longer equal. We exit the loop, and we compute the difference, which is going to be 2 again. So I just leave 2 there, and we increment. Uh, so first we set b in the array, and then we also set the 2 that we compute as the difference. So here I'm just going to replace this directly with 4. The length. Um, and then we set i to j, so i is going to be 4. 
and j is going to be 5. And we check again position number 5 with position 4 and c equals to c, so j becomes 6. Six, <clears throat> and then again we have j charge of i equals to charge of j charge of four equals to charge of six, so j becomes seven. Okay, so now we exited the loop and j is greater than the size of the array. Uh, the indexes in the array are from zero to six, and we have seven. So this is going to be the last j, and then. Uh, we compute the difference between j and i, and it's going to be uh, uh, 7 minus 4, 3. But before, before we add the difference, we first add the character c, so increment the length by 1, to first to 5, and then we increment it again to 6, And that's our final result, right? So we added, we added the final C and three to our result. So that's how this algorithm will work. So let's go to the code. Okay. Uh, so I said we have an, oh, sorry. We have a length, uh, which we return. Okay. And then we have a for loop to iterate with i equals zero, i less than charge of size. But instead of setting plus plus i, we're going to set i equals j, right? Because we want to continue from j where j uh, left over. And then we're going to have a j less of s j less than charge of size and Charles of i equals Charles of j plus plus j. So here we count duplicates and we have to initialize j with i plus one. Okay, and here we compute the difference j minus i. And before we go further, uh, we've actually before we compute the difference, we can set charge of the current length equals to the actual character charge of i. So this sets uh, the character like a, for example. That's going to be the first one. Okay, and then we check if the difference is less than or equal to 1, we continue because we do not want to add any digits. In this case, we have the second example where we can see we just return 1 and there's no digit. It's not A1, it's just A. There's no digit added. And otherwise, we have to add our, our number. And our number can be more than 10, so it can be more than a digit, right? So uh, we want to... First, we want to convert this to a string. I'm going to call the string digit. And then we want to iterate over the string for each digit. And for each digit, we set the digit into the char array. So this sets the number. Example 2 for A. Okay. So let's see if this works. Oh. Uh, Charles. So size. It passed. And if we submit this, it passed. So in terms of complexity, uh, we can see it here, the time complexity is O n, and the space complexity is going to be O1 because we use constant extra space.
Right, so it's uh, only O n because we jump right here with i equals j, so we jump with all the characters, and here we just compare the duplicates. So actually, we just go through all the characters in the array. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this problem. I hope it helped you understand it. Uh, if yes, please like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more C++ problems. Thank you, and bye.